But before we get started, please don't forget to smash that like button for me because it helps me make more videos and it helps the YouTube algorithm. China's recent decision to shut down all US-owned manufacturing factories within its borders has sent shockwaves through the global economy, disrupting international supply chains and marking a major shift in the economic relationship between the two largest economies in the world. This closure has left businesses and governments scrambling to address its sudden and far-reaching effects. The move signals a departure from decades of growing economic interdependence between China and the United States and raises critical questions about the future of global manufacturing and trade. As the world's largest manufacturing hub, China's action not only impacts the U.S., but also affects industries and nations reliant on Chinese produced goods and the smooth operation of global supply chains. For years, China has served as the main manufacturing hub for numerous American companies across a wide range of sectors, from electronics and automobiles to textiles and consumer goods. Competitive labor costs, extensive infrastructure, and access to a large skilled workforce made China the ideal choice for U.S. firms seeking to produce goods at lower costs while ensuring high output. American companies have long depended on China's manufacturing expertise to meet global market demands, taking advantage of the country's extensive industrial capabilities and skills. However, the decision to shut down these factories marks a sudden end to this chapter of economic partnership. The reasons behind this move provide insight into the evolving political and economic landscape. The shutdown of U.S. manufacturing factories in China did not occur in isolation. It is part of a larger trend of escalating geopolitical tensions between the two nations. These tensions are driven by factors such as trade wars, national security concerns, intellectual property disputes, and other ongoing issues. The United States has shown a growing desire to decouple from China in recent years, taking measures to encourage companies to shift their manufacturing operations out of the country. This includes offering incentives for relocating production to other nations or bringing it back to American soil. Meanwhile, China has been implementing its own industrial strategies, such as the Made in China 2025 Inches Initiative, designed to reduce reliance on foreign companies and promote the growth of domestic industries. These efforts have been developing for some time, and the closure of U.S. factories appears to be the result of these converging forces. The immediate fallout from China's decision has been overwhelming for American corporations. Industry giants like Apple, General Motors, and Nike now face the monumental challenge of relocating their production lines, a process that could span years and cost billions of dollars. Companies that depend on just-in-time manufacturing systems, where parts are produced and delivered as needed, are especially vulnerable to such disruptions. The shutdowns have caused significant delays in product availability, driving up prices and creating shortages in key sectors. For businesses that have long relied on the efficiency and scale of Chinese production, the sudden loss of their manufacturing base presents a logistical nightmare, one that is likely to impact profitability, stock prices, and long-term strategies. This decision has highlighted the vulnerabilities of global supply chains, especially those heavily reliant on a single country. In response to China's closures, companies are exploring alternative manufacturing locations, such as Vietnam, India, and Mexico, which are increasingly seen as potential replacements. However, none of these countries can match the scale, infrastructure, or workforce readiness that China has developed over decades. The challenge for American companies will be to diversify their supply chains while still meeting the quality and quantity demands of consumers. This shift, while necessary, is fraught with difficulties, including navigating the political climates of new host countries and the substantial financial investment required to set up new production facilities. Beyond the operational challenges faced by corporations, the political implications of China's decision are significant. The closure of U.S. manufacturing factories in China is likely to further strain the already tense relationship between the two superpowers. For years, the trade war between the U.S. and China has involved tariffs and sanctions on goods exchanged between the nations, 
And these manufacturing shutdowns now represent a new front in this economic conflict. From the U.S. perspective, China's actions could be seen as a strategic move to weaken American economic influence, especially as the U.S. has been advocating for greater autonomy in key sectors such as technology, pharmaceuticals, and defense. Washington is likely to view these closures as a clear indication of Beijing's intent to limit foreign influence in its economy and strengthen its control over domestic industries. The ripple effects of this decision extend well beyond the U.S.-China relationship, impacting global trade and affecting countries closely aligned with either nation. These countries now face tough choices on where to position themselves in this escalating conflict. For instance, the European Union, which maintains extensive trade relations with both the U.S. and China, could find itself caught in the crossfire. Likewise, Asian nations like Japan and South Korea, with strong economic ties to both superpowers, may need to reevaluate and adjust their economic policies to navigate the resulting fallout. The shift in global manufacturing dynamics has the potential to reshape economic alliances in ways that could endure for generations. Another significant consequence of China's closure of U.S. factories is its impact on technological development and innovation. Many American companies have relied on China not just for manufacturing but also for access to its vast market of consumers and suppliers. In the tech industry, for example, China has been a crucial link in the supply chain for semiconductors, smartphones, and other high-tech products. Losing this manufacturing base poses a risk of slowing innovation, as companies will need to rethink their research and development strategies amid disrupted supply chains and limited access to vital components. Moreover, as China works to strengthen its own technological capabilities, U.S. companies could find themselves at a disadvantage if they cannot replicate the scale and production speed they once had in China. For workers on both sides of the Pacific, the closures bring uncertainty and disruption. In China, thousands of factory workers may face unemployment or reassignment as U.S. companies withdraw from the region. While the Chinese government will likely step in to mitigate the impact, perhaps by nationalizing some of the affected factories or retraining workers for other industries, the social consequences could still be significant. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the loss of access to Chinese manufacturing may result in higher consumer costs, fewer product options, and increased pressure on American workers. Although some jobs could return to the U.S. as companies relocate production, they may not materialize quickly enough or in sufficient volume to meet the labor market's demands. One of the most significant long-term effects of this development could be the acceleration of automation and advanced manufacturing technologies. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here.